Cool, so I'm going to tie something I fish a heck of a lot in still waters, that being my uh, CDC bugger. So what I'm going to do is a still water jig style. So get a piece of thick nylon, um, I think this is 0.65 or something leader line. Um, and thread a bead on. I usually leave the open side of the bead facing up. Um, then you take a lighter and you melt the end of that. And then while it's still wet, push the bead up there and just flatten that with your finger. And so now what you have is a bead that you can tie on to your hook. It doesn't obscure the hook at all, but um, it also allows your fly to behave like a jig without having that inconvenient jig shape that isn't ideal on streamers. So you're going to tie that in. This will also flip your fly upside down, so it's just a little bit better around rocks than a lot of other flies will be. Um, typically I'll fish something like this on point. It's going to be the fly that sinks the fastest. Um, it's, yeah. Then when I'm fishing streamers like this, I always put in a tail guard of some sort. I'm going to use dubbing in this case, some UV dubbing. UV dubbing is quite versatile. You don't actually always have to dub with it. You can tie it in like a tail. You can use it to make hotspots and things. In this case, it's going to actually be like a UV hotspot. It's not a very bright color, but it will flash that UV color. And more importantly, it's quite a lot stiffer than Marabou. Um, and it will support that tail. The tail won't wrap nearly as easily. You can make this fly in a whole lot of different colors. Um, just yeah, be creative. I'm going to make it with a dark brown tail today. And um, with a black body. It's a color combination I've found to work pretty well in Gubu. Tail can be quite long. You don't want it to be too dense either. Pinch off any stray fibers here. You'll see that's quite a long tail in relation to the rest of the hook. Now you can technically add flash to this tail, but I don't bother because the body actually ends up having quite a lot of flash in it. Because what I'm going to do now is take a whole lot of CDC. You're going to want to find a couple of quite nice long feathers. So two feathers. Um, and you can put these together. Brush the fibers so that they stick out. Hold them together and then you just take your bulldog clip. You can pinch them there. Cut them off the stems. Leave the other half of the feathers ready for your next clump. This fly does take quite a bit of CDC. 
And now what we can do is before we actually do the split thread, we can take some of that UV dubbing again. Just a few fibers, you don't want too much. And you can just almost balance it on top of your... I mean, you can technically pinch this with the CDC as well. Um, I find it's easier just to balance it on top of the clip. Actually, wait, so let's just neaten that up slightly. can insert your clip with the dubbing. I often leave the butts of the CDC sticking through quite a lot actually. I mean it's it's usually quite messy, you would never do this with a dry fly. But on a streamer like this what it does is it just sort of bulks up the underbody a little bit. Um, and it helps to helps to give the fly some meat, I guess. And that UV flash doesn't add a huge amount of flash to the fly, but it just adds a little bit of a UV shimmer. It's quite delicate, but it makes a very big difference, I think. You're going to wrap this forward, just like that. And then you're going to repeat that entire process. You're just going to repeat the process until you've completely filled up the shank. That's why I say this fly takes quite a lot of CDC.
and for this last one because it's quite a short part of the shank left I'm going to do the CDC a little bit more neatly it will also make the fly look a lot neater overall just to have the front bit of it a bit neater um, the back bit you want to use the butts of the CDC to build up that bulk a bit and then just the last little bit you can do a little bit more neatly the fish won't care but just makes you feel more confident putting on a slightly better looking fly. Now you, this is literally it, you can whip finish, or you can just cheat and do what I do, just add some super glue to the thread, quicker to do it like that, just as durable if not more so. Now it often helps to brush it out and fish it just like this but, you know if any of those fibers are trapped just a bit of velcro will help a little bit get that thing looking nice and fluffy and this color combination has worked really well for me a dark brown tail black body with some uv flash and a silver bead um, then Olive with a red tag or an or bright orange or pink tag works very well for me as well with maybe a, a gold bead. Um, pure black with a gold bead or a black bead or a gunmetal bead and a, a chartreuse tag. Use something like this. Um, yeah, you can play around with it. I've even caught on a peach. Peach works very well orange in winter, uh, both of those colors are great while the fish are breeding. Um, yeah, play around, find the colors that work for you in your area. This is a color combination that I found has worked really well for me in Gubu. Somewhere like Larkin's Flay in the Western Cape, I will usually go for the black one with the chartreuse tag. But yeah, just play around.